Hello and welcome to another Power Tools for Power Automate video. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating the Merge Arrays functionality. As you can see, I've got two arrays here that contain the names and some properties of tennis players, and we are going to merge them on the name property. And so the second array contains some other properties with information about that player. So the first array contains Roger, Serena and Rafa. And the second array contains Roger, Serena and Novak. So there are a couple of different merge modes. So that's why the arrays are different. So if I go into custom and pick power tools, I can choose merge arrays. And my first array will be players one. My second array will be players two. And I'm going to merge them on the property called name. Now the merge mode is retain all from array one. So if I test that now, this should get Roger, Serena and Rafa because it's gonna keep anything in array one and bring across the properties from array two. So let's take a look at the output. So we've got Roger with all of the extra properties Serena with the extra properties, and then Rafa just with the properties from array one because he didn't match in array two. And I can also pick intersection. And what intersection will do is only bring back um, exact matches and it will drop anything from array one that it doesn't find in array two. So we should just get Roger and Serena in the output. There's Roger with the additional properties and Serena. Rafa has been dropped from the list because he isn't in array two. And that is how simple it is to merge arrays, which is something that's quite difficult to do in Power Automate with the standard tools. Let's quickly flip to another demo. Okay, in this demo, I'm getting a thousand records of order IDs and order values. So here's our order IDs, there's a thousand of them. So we're going to merge it on the order ID property and we're going to bring in the order value into the array. So here's our merge array. I'm converting the inputs with JSON because they're just text files and my common property is order ID. So with a thousand records, let's try it. And as you can see, it was really fast to execute. And if I look at the outputs, we can see that the processing time was only 78 milliseconds. So it was very quick to execute. And that is it. That is how easily you can merge arrays in Power Automate using Power Tools. I'll see you in the next video.